Hey guys, welcome back to Lucille Batiste. My name is Lauren, my friends call me Lo, and today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys my favorite skincare products. So I'm really excited to show you guys the products that I use. So let's start off talking about the face. So this is what I typically use as my face wash, um, which is the Purity by Philosophy. And I know a lot of people use this. This is really great. It gets all your makeup off. Um, every now and then I'll use a Neutrogena wipe um, when I'm feeling lazy. But most of the time when I'm washing my face on a daily basis, I'm using this Purity by Philosophy. Then I also dip and dabble in masks. And I've just started using these kind of masks. I haven't done these before. So the first mask I've ever used is this Alba Botanica Even Advanced Deep Sea Facial Mask. And it's supposed to equalize your pigmentation for an even complexion. So this is the first mask I've ever tried and picked up. Um, and I tend to use this about once, uh, once a week. I try to do it. Try to do a mask at least once a week. If I don't use this mask, I use Lush's Mask of Magna Minty. If you can see that, Minty looks like, and it smells like, it smells like mint chocolate. It's scrubbing, exfoliating bean in it. So what the description says, packed full of peppermint, kaolin, and scrubby aduki beans for deeply cleansed skin. So it also kind of has an exfoliant factor to it, which is very nice. And I keep that on for, I keep this on for about five or so minutes, depending on what I'm doing. I like to use on occasion. So let's say I use this about once or twice a month so yeah. i definitely will give you guys updates as i go along because i'm of course dipping and dabbling and trying to figure out other uh, skincare products i can use for my face so yes so after i wash my face i tend to use a toner now first toner i've ever bought i got these from target but the out products i got from target so it's the hawaiian facial toner complexion balancing hibiscus so of course like that's what i'm want to do is make sure my skin tone is very even because sometimes I have blemishes and um, redness in certain areas and um, and even hyperpigmentation so I want to make sure I'm getting a uh, even complexion as even a complexion as I can so that's what I'm working on with this um, so I use this Alba Botanica and then a new thing that I picked up recently which is I wouldn't say recently. It's been like a couple months, guys. But this is the Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water from Lush. And this is really great and refreshing. I usually use this when I'm being lazy. It says the mineral-rich sea breeze captured in a bottle. Treat your face to cooling aloe vera, soothing rose, and clarifying herbs. Expertly blended for smooth, balanced skin. So wow. this, this is a good pickup, guys. Um, and then we can move on to facial moisturizers. So... Going ahead with Lush, I use the Enzymian Facial Moisturizer. This is because I have combination skin. This is typically for oily skin. Um, it says, keeps oily skin looking its best thanks to a, all the enzymic fresh fruit ingredients, avocado, and or, organic aloe vera we squeeze into each pot. So I usually use this during the summer or when I know I'm going to be like, I don't know, outdoors or like... I don't want to say sweaty, but like if I'm doing something active or being somewhere where I might sweat or get like oily throughout the day, I'll use this. But it's winter time right now, guys, and I have tend to have very dry skin. So what I'll use is a daily moisturizer. Which I use this on my body, I use this on my face, on some parts of my face. Cetaphil. Cetaphil is the GOAT. Greatest of all time. Um, it's, it's, it's getting pricey though but it's the greatest of all time I'll sit there and um, I can put this on my eyes because those are sensitive areas I put it on my eyelid um, I put it um, on spots where I tend to get really dry um, and it just gets everything together so I definitely use that for my face sometimes too especially in the winter time because I have to make sure I'm as moisturized as possible can't be looking dry out here gotta look supple and moisturized so um, moving on to my lips what I use um, as an exfoliator is Lush's lip scrub I'll use a mint julep um, if you just wet your lips 
you can put it on what I do is I tend to scrub it in a circular motion around my lips and then actually rub my lips together um, to get as much exfoliation as possible then I rinse it off and then if it's like a little bit left I'll lick it off because it's just sugar um, which is not gonna hurt you guys so um, and then also when I follow up I use what I've been using lately is Lush's Honey Trap Lip Balm. I don't want this to be like a huge Lush thing, but this is what I use. Um, and it has a nice scent to it and it's very moisturizing. It has, to, it has a little bit of shine to it as well. I also, is my go-to, Vaseline. Vaseline will moisturize your lips, guys. It'll give you, it's like your own little lip gloss too when you don't have time to actually apply lip gloss. You can put that on. There you go. Your lips are shining. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll put and I actually use Vaseline um, like during these cold months as well um, on dry areas on my skin sometimes that you have to put on something thick you know to really moisturize your skin and stop it from being dry so I use that I also have um, a couple EOS lip balms I don't know where they are they're somewhere in my purses and my bags but yeah I also use EOS lip balm on a um, on a regular basis I try not to use this lip balm this Lush Lip Balm or the Vaseline um, like out and about and it's handheld that I don't have to actually put my fingers in to eliminate germs. I'm kind of a germaphobe. Um, you guys will see after a while that I'm a bit of a germaphobe. So yeah, so that's your face. So all my face products. And let's go to body products. So I have Bar Soap, Original Dove Bar Soap. I use Dove. It moisturizes my skin. Of course, I still have to use lotion, but it's definitely a lot more moisturizing than a lot of soaps with a shower gel or a cream kind of shower gel. So what I love, and I talked about this in my Lush haul, is the Flying Fox shower gel from Lush. This is the truth. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, I can smell it through the bottle, like. It just smells so good guys and it just leaves my skin very moisturized for a shower gel you'd be surprised and when it comes out it seems thin and then you rub it together and it just kind of like thickens up and foams up it's so nice it's so great I, I just sound so excited about it because I am it's just it's a great shower gel and I'm sad they discontinued it I'm gonna try and hold on to this for as long as I can for sure also what I use as a body wash is the C Booth Milk Bath and Shower Cleanser. I got this from Ulta. It was hey, okay. it's almost 50% off. Let's do this. So, um, yeah, I really like this. It has a really nice smell to it. It has like a very creamy, um, warm milk smell. So, as you guys can tell, those are the kind of smells I like. Um, and it's moisturizing. Um, I always use the Dove's first and then I use this shower um, wash. I mean, I've used a lot of products clearly, but I think I need, especially in the wintertime, I need to use as much as I can to make sure my skin is as moisturized as it can be. Um, so it has a nice scent and I do like the Seabooth products because the product I'm about to show you now is another Seabooth product. This is the original bath and body and oil. this is like the beginning step of my moisturizing. This is before I pat my skin dry. I put this on with wet skin and it kind of locks in and seals just like you would do your hair. It seals in all of the moisture and even the water in it seals it all in and then you follow up with your whatever um, lotion body butter cream moisturizer you want to use um so i definitely like it I, i'm thinking about it, but if i'll probably repurchase it i will probably repurchase it if ulta has another sale probably not gonna pay close to ten dollars oh, for another it. thing um which is actually from my lush haul as well the unboxing um is the rose argan body conditioner and i talked about it for a little bit um you can tell that this is made with argan oil. I kind of like this too. I'm still in the trial run of figuring it all out. But if you, um, what you do with this is after you wash yourself, you'll put this on. I suggest um, turning the shower water off. Put this on and then you can rinse it off after you put it all over your body. And the minute you rinse it off, like when you first put it on, it's just like feels, it feels actually like a conditioner that you're putting on your skin. And then when you rinse it off, it kind of has like this thick kind of texture like you put on some kind of oil or moisturizer. And you can see like the water bubbling up off your skin. Like 
it's nice it works it does its job it says it's supposed to replace um using a moisturizer after you shower but i still because of it's winter and because i have dry skin i still put on moisturizer um but i do like it and it also has a really nice smell nice scent so next we're going on to body butters and lotions so this is also by Seabooth. i got this from alta when it was on sale so i'm gonna make sure you guys let me know when alta has a sale so I can pick this up. This is the Honey Almond Body Butter by C. Booth. And this, guys, smells so amazing. It smells like... It smells like honey almond butter. Like like a honey butter. Like the honey butter that you put on your bread at a restaurant. That's what it smells like. It smells amazing. It's such a warm scent. It's, it's just really great. And it's very moisturizing. I use this for my hands. I use this for my body. Um, I tend, that's why I have a good amount left. I tend to use this on occasions like when I'm going out just to make sure I smell extra great. Um, I don't usually use this on a daily basis um, unless I'm going somewhere. So um, that has lasted me for a pretty long time. Um, but I definitely would, I would definitely repurchase this one. The almond body butter, I would definitely repurchase it. And especially if it's on sale. I'm definitely going to get it if it's on sale. You know, I'm trying to save, save my corn, guys. Last but not least, of course, is Cetaphil. Cetaphil is the go-to. It's the GOAT. It's the greatest of all time. I'm going to spell that out on the bottom. The greatest of all time. <laughs> so Cetaphil, um, this is for dry and sensitive, sensitive skin. I use it on my face. I use it on my body. It's my staple product. It's my go-to. Um, especially if you guys suffer from eczema as well, it's very calming to your skin and it's very moisturizing and it lasts. So this is my, this is kind of like my regimen doing, using Dove soap, um, bar soap, and then using the body wash as well. And then I'll go and use a oil, some kind of body oil on my skin and then I do my moisturizing. So that's the routine and this is how I keep my skin as supple and soft as it can be or I try to keep it supple and soft and smelling good. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, uh, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos. If you have missed some, press the subscribe button um, if you enjoy the content that I have on my channel and just leave a comment as well. Let me know what kind of skincare products you guys use, anything that you think I should be trying as well as um, anything you want to see in the future. And just let me know, guys, and give me some, some input on what, you, what you've seen so far on Lucille Batiste. And press the subscribe button, share with a friend, like and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, have a good one, guys. Bye.